Okay, more, oh, this is the concrete that came out, flipped over, and now we're looking at the underside of it after the contractor. You guys think that, uh, you have any idea, you think that I'd actually know who installed this? A couple of people were asking me, well, aren't they, what, hell if I know what they uh, did back then. You know, it's what we're looking at, so I don't know the contractor. They did a nice lap there, psych. You know, they did do a nice lap. It's uh, one of these. They usually just lap one back in the day. All it required was just overlap of one. This is uh, the rebar, again. So we're evaluating this. The stone and the paste. Wow, it's a huge stone. It's a big one inch stone. And the, uh, the interaction of this rebar is not great, is it? The rebar is the one that helps you with the flexual. Your flexual ability, keeping it from flexing. So this marriage was, uh, looks like we had some people at the wedding that did, were already sabotaging it. So th there's the cover of the rebar that's not quite covered. It's only, they only put a blanket on, well, one half of it roughly. One half of it. Oh, uh, well, there's the cut. The saw, it's part of a saw cut here. Yeah, that's flat. Part of a saw cut. Huh. Can you give me my hammer? Is it here? Ow. Okay, so once again we're looking at a marriage of concrete and rebar and more rebar, 6x6 six six mesh, wire mesh is what it's referred to as. One of the names came out of here. Flipped it over to take a look at it and uh, you see how this marriage is. It's not quite consummated as someone said. They uh, used a different term for me. But if we look close, you can see what I'm talking about, the engagement, how you'd want to lock this in. This can't slide because of the, uh, the engagement. That's when they were engaged. And but, you know, the honeymoon stages and the afterlife looks like it has some separation here. But nevertheless, this is concrete all compacted around it. This can't slide out, right? It's, it's locked in. All that adds up to being one long connection. One long connection until you start loading it and then it starts taking on the deflection loads and then the connection starts getting kind of funky on you. The marriage starts getting kind of weak. Wow, that's nice. Look at that. That was nice. Well, so so. Here's our crack. Now it's from here to here, from here to here. What's keeping this concrete together is this engagement here with the engagement here, the commitment, right? Inside here and here. And that commitment can change based on the outside stresses. Keep loading it, loading it. And it will, the commitment will stay the same unless somebody comes along and puts really pressure to it and says, look, I got a bunch of $100 bills. Anyway, so it's, uh, then it will stress the relationship between this concrete and this steel. And it might part ways. The, 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 whole, uh, the whole engagement party and everything might be done. But this is already a marriage, so this would be more like a divorce deal. Let's take a look. Okay, so now we got a forced, a forced um, I used the steel, all I did was pound on the steel. I used the steel to... You use steel to send a vibration, a frequency to, to break it up. forces to come down through there and help flake that off, look. It threw it off, and that's the track of the, the uh, engagement of the reinforcement right inside there. Just finish this up a little bit. So, now we totally lost the relationship. Looks like it's over with beyond this crack. 
We see where it was married though, right there. Right there. And there's the other piece of wire right there. Those two pieces of wire help those two stay together. So that marriage is over with there. Let's see what we, let's work our way down a bit. So much of that, so much of that, and of everybody who keeps telling me steel, it's, it's, you know, I try to tell you it's not a cake. That these things are two people, two individuals here, trying to work together. A marriage, you know how tough that can be. So there's your marriage, and you just saw the divorce happen. Still got some uh, somebody tagging along here, though. The best man still trying to hit on the girl here. Still work. Still the wife still hanging on. So best man, wait a minute, that's a fracture, and there was no cut there, so that was just a, just a elongation fracture from me pounding on it over there. Well, he's also not doing too good on his hitting on, on, on the marriage, because he's swelling up there and going to break free sooner than later, where ultimately this has broken free. So now we're just at concrete. We do have this wire here that's still cool. We don't have any more rebar in it. So I was gonna say, th I was gonna say theoretically I can lift it up and it would crack on this side, but it looks like that's already been proven with the crack there. And there you have it. About 150 pounds right there, and there you have it. What kept what keeps it together now is you, when you flip it over. Is that wire bridging, bridging these two together, keeping it together? As cars load it though, it can just pop off, strain and pop off. So let me flip this. And you take a look at it this way, help you understand it. In this capacity, there's the wire down the bottom, road traffic on top, full crack, that's what you would look like. But when you load it here, that wire is still holding, so it won't want to break until the wire tensile strength fails on the bond connection or the wire itself. So, let's see here. Pull this over. Oh, there's another one. So that strength, that loaded right there would cause it to butterfly down. Hopefully that helps out a bit. It takes a little bit of energy to do these videos. I'm going to move that over a little bit and see if it doesn't break apart. Wait a minute, can you move this over for me? Put this on top of, grab this, let's grab this together and put it on top of, or bring your machine in, which bring it closer. And then we'll lift this up and put it on there. And we'll load the bitch. Let's see what happens. Okay, this, this is not going to be an easy one to demonstrate, but we're going to lift this up and put this, if you can help me a little bit. We're going to put this uh, on top of here. Okay, I got my piece. Go we'll grab your side. We're going to put it on top. We're going to put it on top of there. Okay, is that what we, I guess we can slide it down. Yeah, I'll slide it towards you. And then we'll just flip it over. Yep. Good. Now we'll put it on top of that one. Rotate up. Rotate on top. This will work. And let's get it up now. Cool. One more, one more little bit. Sweet. Thank you. All right. So we know that crack is fully through. So what's holding it is the rebar. And I don't know what it could take a car, one car, two cars, but the crack looks like nothing to you up top. But, beyond, but the reality is just being held by the wire. You want to try stepping on it? I think you'll be safe. If not, uh, I apologize for the defect. All right, so now he's being held by the wire. That center span is holding up. He's not breaking because of his loading, his, his, the weight. It's just the wire there. You got that too, right? You understand what I was doing? Yeah. So it's just the wire. In reality, we know this is fully shit. 
that it's just two pieces. They're just two pieces. They're not together besides this wire, the reinforcement now. Hopefully you'll understand now what the deck is going, experiencing with all these full cracks and that the wire, the steel is doing it. But when you lose the engagement of the steel, where it spalls or it stops, you know, like use engagement, you get your failure. Okay. That's how you get what you get. Hopefully this helps you understand more. I'll add more to the little mini series, but you know, this is, this. you're not getting it at this point, along with this one and the other three videos before this one. Boy, you're gonna be a tough customer. Now he just slid it in, it's the only wire, and he's gonna rotate the bucket, and it's gonna hold it unless, it, unless the weight's more out there. Let's give it a shot. The weight, weight's still out here. Oh, well anyway, let me get you up. Let me get it up there, hold on. Let me get it up. Oh, you go back down a little bit for me. Okay, all I did was twist it around. You're good, you can run it out. All I did was twist it around. It's still connected by two pieces of wire there. That's the full fracture. That's what the cement looks like. All the rebars at the bottom. He's done. 